It's your money, and the government may owe some of it back to you. It is tax season, in case you forgot, and many people can, it can mean a refund from the IRS. Well, sometimes it's a few bucks. Sometimes it's a pretty nice check if it's in the hundreds or thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. What's the smart way to deal with that money, right? It's just, uh, you know, you got that check. You want to spend it? Let's talk to a personal finance expert, our friend Shawnee Curry St. Bill. How are you? I'm doing well. Nice to see you. All right, doing you get well. that nice check. You're looking at it. What do you do with it? What are the mistakes people make? Okay, so a large percentage, which is about 50% of people decide that they're gonna go ahead and just save it. And that's probably, it sounds good that you're gonna save it, but if you don't really have a planned savings plan, oftentimes what you say you're going to do actually gets gobbled up in daily expenses, right? I actually like the smaller share where 30% of people say that they go ahead and they eliminate debt. You think about it, Christmas was just around the corner. You kind of hiked up the old credit card bill so it's a very good time to go ahead and pay down some of that debt great idea for sure so that, is that the number one thing you like what that's else what should I people recommend. consider um the doing. one of my favorites is actually how i was able to eliminate my mortgage altogether right so the start of it is simply when you get your tax return go ahead and pay extra towards right. that mortgage right just think of it in that way one extra payment can end up saving you thousands of time and interest when it comes to your mortgage so that's, that's a great that's, idea so yeah. if you have a, a 30 year or 15 year mortgage you can cut the time of yeah. that Shave it right that. down just by making an extra payment right from your tax return. Okay, now some people may not get a tax <laughs> refund. <laughs> what, what are the tips that you have for those folks? Um, for those that won't get one at yeah. all, Elliot, well, they really need to consider starting a business. That's probably one of the number one things that you need to consider, right? If you don't own a home, then you definitely yes. need to consider getting yourself a home so that you can have yourself a bona fide write-off. Those are probably two of the ones. Create a business that's going to create some profitability as well as getting yourself a mortgage so you can write off some of that interest. You could use that uh, tax uh, uh, refund when you get one to yes. help pay for that. <laughs> yeah. And human capital may not sound very exciting, but that's right. another option. Right. Right. Is human capital. right, so human capital is you, right? That is the most viable capital that you have access to, right? So if you're thinking you want to move a little bit further on your job with your employer in your business, you want to go ahead and take yourself a course that will give you the opportunity to leverage yourself. You need to continue to invest in you as a person, as a being. That's, That's what just Buffett the best return. Recommends. Totally. Wow, I like this courses, idea. Courses, classes, mm -hmm. workshops, Very self-empowering. For sure. You're also saying that you should think of of the refunds like a seed. Explain yes, that. right. So think seed as opposed to spin. When you think of the word spin, that N word is end, right? E N D. It's over, it's <laughs> done, right? But when you think of it like a seed, you're gonna put it in the ground with the expectation that it's actually going to grow, right? What are some things that can grow? A college fund for your children, right? That business that I just talked about could actually grow. You can double up on your 401k. You can invest more in R in a Roth IRA. So start thinking about how can I see this as a opposed to spending it. And maybe next time you can tell us how to get a refund at there you all. Go. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's how you can know. That's okay. the way you so want to hear it. <laughs> Don't go out and buy a hot tub with that. Um, I mean, unless you're going, unless it is a bona fide home improvement, and not everybody really celebrates that, so that one's, you know, in the middle. Great advice, Corey, uh, Corey St. Bill. Nice to see you. <laughs> Good to All see right. you. Thank you.